Well, it's always a pleasure to hang out with this um, young and amazing musician. His name is Dada Hafko, and he has a new one titled Yebe Winti. But uh, prior to that, he's had other, I mean, other songs, and there's one about women. But uh, maybe we should start with Yebe Winti, and then from there we can talk about the one on women because it looks like people seem to have different opinions on that one. So, welcome to Let's Talk Showbiz. Thank you, thank you, Dorian. All right, so let me ask. Yebe Winti, I mean, it's usually a term where, when you know, it's like when you've done something and you're so fed up and you're like, Charlie, Yebe Winti, I end that. So what actually inspired it? Is this, some, is this something similar like this? Well, thank you for having me. Um, <clears throat> Yebe Winti is actually a phrase um, that we usually use all the time. Now, I got an inspiration from, you know, a few months back, you wake up to hear stories of people committing suicides. You know, and I, I always kept asking myself, why would somebody want to take their lives? And so I, it, it inspired me to write a song like, no matter where you find yourself in life, you need to think about yourself first. You need to leave life because God created heaven and earth for, last, for us to come and live on earth. So you need not to take your Even your life does not belong to you. So you're not the owner of your life. You don't have to go take your life. The fact that your kids have been sent away from school does not mean you have to go and kill yourself. Because, you know, troubles will come, but they wouldn't last. You know? So it's actually a motivation and an inspirational song to let people know that wherever you find yourself in life, just keep on living life and enjoy. Because you might not know what will happen tomorrow. Wow. And so far, how has it been? Because um, I'm just looking at the people in the ghetto and how they are responding to it. Oh man, it's, it's been it's been so amazing. Actually, this song has actually flown to the top, like very very high because it's easily relatable. You know, people easily connect with the song because people owe. You need to eat. The fact that you owe does not mean you don't have to eat. And you know, when you listen to the song, the first line says, Mediobika, Nansu Mikudi, Mikudi. A lot of people like the line because everybody owes, even Ghana owes. You know, so the fact that you find yourself in all this situation does not mean, you know, it's a warranty for you to go and kill yourself. But at the same time, the song is receiving massive airplay. It's been uh, endorsed by a lot of celebrities, including Reggie and Bowley, and Anama Mike Brown, A Plus, or Chami Kofinari. The list goes on and on and on. So, you know, we are basking in the happiness. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, I mean, well, it's an inspirational song, and so perhaps you should go and listen to it. I know I'll play it right here on the show, but uh, you should find time, listen to the lyrics attentively, and then get to understand what he's telling right here on the show. Now, I mentioned earlier on that uh, you had a song titled Fault by Women, Fault of a Woman, and um, I mean, Fault of a Woman, the, the, I mean, the words in it, why, why Fault of a Woman? Um, I think um, women are their own enemies. That's plain and simple. And a lot, of, a lot of women, when they heard a song, they had problems because they only had heard the, the title. They never heard the, the, the music itself. So when you hear a song, then you're going to be like, oh, th why would this boy do a song titled like Fault of a Woman? But if your husband or your, your boyfriend has been snatched by your fellow woman or by a friend, you will understand the song. You know, what the song talks about is that as a woman, you have friends, but not all your friends are on your side. Because you know today, a lot of women can't even leave their phones with their friends because your husband or your boyfriend's number would be picked and you never know what will happen next. You know what I mean? Even in the Bible, it was Eve that lured Adam into sin. You know, so women are their own enemies. I mean, Doreen, you are a lady. So you, you should be able to relate easily. Mm -hmm. I remember I came to Asempa sometime and they, they were playing a song and they said that they, the females, all the ladies on the show, they said they were coming after me. Now after the song played to the end, then three of them said, oh, and you mean me? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Because they, they, they realized that they had been in such, such a situation before. So women are their own enemies, plain and simple. You can have um, a boyfriend and then your fellow woman will, will do whatever it takes to take him away from you. In somewhere in 1985 or so, all women gathered in uh, China, mm -hmm. and they said what men can do, women can do better. Okay. It's understood. So why won't women advise themselves <clears throat> that if you see that your fellow woman is married, 
all women will do a meeting and say, let's stay off for the marriage to thrive. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, I mean, you're talking like you're a woman. I mean, how did you get all these stories? And don't you think that as much as uh, the title, it's a bit some way, but when you listen to the song, it kind of actually tells the story of a woman. Don't you feel that you are giving out so much information about women and the way they relate to others? And how did you even get all these stories? No, I feel like these are realities that we hardly talk about. You know, in our society, where we come from, there are certain stories that are really a canker in the system, but we fail to address them because they are a bit sensitive. You know what I mean? So I feel like this is it. Let's put, you know, let's lay the cards on the table and just talk about it. Because women know, you see, when it comes to men, when two men are walking and they meet a lady, Immediately one expresses interest in the lady, the other one backs off. It's naturally women. But when two women are walking and they meet a guy, and one of them expresses her interest in the guy, the other will lay low, but by tomorrow or next week, she, you, you will see her also rolling with the guy. I think I, I, I kind of like met a situation, some, some, something like that yesterday, when I, I went to Casapa. There was this lady who had a friend and then she introduced her boyfriend to her friend. And then there was a day she was at her boyfriend's place and the boyfriend's phone was ringing. And then she checked and it was her friend. Oh, wow. So, you know, fault of the woman. So <clears throat> it is the whole thing is fault of the woman. Women are their own enemies. That is what the song seems to talk about. And therefore, women must be careful of themselves, okay. you know. Women obviously have to be careful of themselves. So now with the song Yebe Wunti and then a few other songs you're releasing, obviously you're on the road to yeah. releasing an album. Yeah, yeah, on the, on the build up to an album. I would say that <clears throat> the album is complete now. It's just a few tie ups, you know. So very soon we will outdoor the um, new era album. It's a 15 track, solid, authentic, high life music. You know, like I am embarking on making good music. Like a lot of people say that when you make good music, people don't give you attention. I have a different opinion because I feel like not every hit song is a good song, but every good song is a potential hit song. You know, so I am on that path, making sure that we address the system with good music. I wouldn't want to die one day <clears throat> and then my name wouldn't be written in the good books of Ghana music. I need to leave that legacy. People need to speak and say that, oh, that guy who made meaningful music, not just the guy who made just noisy music. So I want to be noted for something positive. Mm. So. Do you do just music or you run other businesses? Well, um, I have other stuff that I do, you know, but, but music takes a lot of my time, though, you know. Well, I ask that because every time I look shape, it's like, <laughs> so I just needed to ask. And um, I mean, well, as you've said it, so we'll just leave it there. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's about taking good care of yourself. You know, I am not that type of person who like do, you know, vices and stay out late and, and stuff like that. I'm always in my zone, you know, so people who see me and say, oh, you know, you don't grow, you know. I'm like, I'm taking good care of myself. You know, this is life. We live it once, so you need to be careful. All right. <laughs> All right, so that's um, that I have caught. And uh, if you haven't heard the song, you'll be willing to go check it out. It's actually on YouTube. The video is out, too, so you can check it out. Yes, you will see it right here on the show, but after that, just um, tell a friend to tell a friend that there's a song you need to get inspired because, of course, we are in the world where... There's so many things going on, and sometimes you need some of these words to encourage yourself. Dada Afko, thanks so much for talking to us. Thank you, thank you, Doreen. And I, I would like to tell the fans that if you want to follow the brand, you go on Facebook, it's <clears throat> Dada Afko, Dada B's Empire. And then Twitter, Instagram, and um, 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 Snapchat is Dada Afko. That's D-A-D-A-H-A-F-C-O. I want to thank everybody yourself. Every time that I've reached out to this lady, she's so amazing. She attends to me with, you know, agency. So I appreciate everything that you've been doing for me. And to everybody who's helped me push my music to this level, I think Yibunti is doing amazingly well in almost every chat in Ghana. And it's like being played almost on a daily basis. People will call you everything. So shout out to everybody. And shout out to every DJ who is making this song trend. I really appreciate it. God bless you.
preventing hepatitis and it is yes indeed preventable now let's go back and i can see the health minister here i can see your chairman Kwame himself here i can see el ankara here it's broadcaster el ankara is here and i see om honorable honorable how are you doing i'm still alive oh yes i'm glad you're still alive honorable, how often do you do this um, not that often, but I do a lot of sport other than this. I play a lot of squash and I do a lot of swimming. Okay, but today our chairman Kwame has been able to get you out of the bed well, and out of the it's, house. It's all for a good cause and we must support him as much as we can. Okay. Yes. The missing million. Yes, we cannot wait for people to go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. We need to take the advocacy on to the streets. Okay. We need, we need to take it to the people. Mm. And that's what we are trying to do. Is the out, out turn impressive for you? Oh, yes, I think. You, as you can see, it's a lot of people. Uh, it's a, and I know that people are still joining in from everywhere we get to okay yes, yes well yes, yes. let's let's see how how many people are going to finish uh, if, if, oh yes but oh this one i think everybody's everybody will finish you you'll be surprised you'll you, you be surprised that lots of people might have been in caps right now going to the finishing point <laughs> but we have um we have the red cross with us driving okay. behind us so all the people that get tired they just sit in their red cross van i will go and check in that bus yes you have to go and check it, it um this year it's been taken to another level um I, I wish there were a drone shot of this but because we are in a, a security zone uh, we are not allowed to do that but this is interesting and we've left everything in the hands of the police and the military so the the original route demarcated route has been taken out of uh, off the table and the, the military and the police are deciding uh, how it's going to go so we're going to just walk like that follow their instructions and at the end of the day we do the aerobics and the tests how often do you do this? Go on, I mean, on an exercise like this? Myself, I like to walk. Okay. I can walk from Accra Academy all the way to the ministries and back. Mm -hmm. So it's something I enjoy doing a lot. Yeah. And I, I think I can encourage uh, um, people to do that because it's fun. You, you, your heart gets to work and you're able to monitor your stamina. Okay. Well, Director of Public Health himself. Yes. Look, how are you doing? Very well, very well. I can see that you're having a good time. Yes, very well. <laughs> and I see that a lot of people are coming in my join and it's getting more exciting. Mm. Best interest to push away but I have titus. It's great, huh? Yeah. So it means that you often do this. Yes, I do. I try to do five kilometers every other day. Mm. Yeah. Every other day, not yeah. every day. Not every day, every other day. Okay. So we are talking, I was talking to the Minister of Health about the education on hepatitis B. What do you think of it here in Ghana? Um, I, do you know, funnily enough, I heard on radio the other day, one of the local radio stations, I can't remember, but they were trying to explain it and how um, you can get... Um, it, it, yeah, yeah, you can get tested and vaccinated and how you can catch it and things like that. I think it needs to be broader on the local radio stations more. Okay. Um, so the government can do more to educate.